In this short video, I'll be walking you through how I roast a very small batch of whiskey barrel coffee. These are the barrels here that I have. I'm testing out different types of um, taste. I'll be using the big barrel here. I have about five pounds of different types of Central American beans in there. So it's been aging for about four weeks, although I've been roasting uh, from that for uh, doing two week, four, three week, and four week. In this quick shot here, you see the green beans, again, the five different varieties. That's why you have different colors. All right, so now I'm putting in my small roast. Um, again, this is for home roasting use. It's a very small thing you can do about maybe a quarter of a pound at most at a time. And the beans expand and get larger over time. So this gives me about three days worth of coffee. Uh, from the video that you see now, this is the again the first minute or so, and it's changing color from that green to the now the yellow tones that you see. And there's um, now they're going to start moving over into the the brown. So you kind of go from green to yellows, then to light brown, dark brown, and then more of that um, dark roast. So I'm not going to get to that. What I wa wanted to show you here is that first crack and second crack. You can't hear it because I've turned off the sound, but uh, really looking more for the color here. I'm, this particular roast that you'll see in this video is going to be called a full city roast. It's just before a dark roast where you can see the, the shininess of the beans coming through the oils. Um, part of it's just because I didn't turn off, you know, right dead on the medium because I am trying different tastes and flavors here. So here, as you see on this shot here, is about a medium roast. And we're getting really close to that full city roast, which is still a medium, but a little slightly richer in uh, flavor and uh, a little bit darker and this is me wrapping it up they've already been cooled off for three or four minutes so the beans need to, some time to cool and uh, there's a shot of what they look like afterwards and so I will be drinking this in about 24 to 48 hours letting it sit and some of the flavors continue to come out of the beans as they sit for a few days